everybody. Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Well, today we have quite a challenge. I have this report here in Excel and currently it's taking 15 printed pages to print. I want to get it down to fit to one page wide. Now, there's several strategies we're going to use today. First thing that I'm going to look at, I'm going to use the N key and the right arrow key to go out and see that our data is really going out through columns A through X, but there's a whole bunch of auxiliary tables off to the right hand side. So I want to be careful to set the print range to include only the important sections of my report. I select columns A through X, go to File, Print Area, Set Print Area. Let's see how that does. If we do a print preview, you can see that we're down to page one of nine now. So we've already gotten rid of six pages by getting rid of those extra columns. Okay, now some other things we can do. Some of the columns are kind of wide here. And the reason that they're wide is because that they have long headings, prior year. Can we fit prior year on two rows instead of one row? But I'm going to do that within the in the single cell. I'm going to type prior, hit Alt Enter, type year. And now that heading takes up less space if we use format column auto fit. Um, all of the month columns that we have some pretty small quantities in there. Uh, they're currently all set at the default width of 8.5. If I select that data, format column auto fit takes up less space. Let's see how we're doing on our page preview. Great, we're down to page one of six. Now, at this point, we can go into page setup, change from portrait to landscape, go into our margins tab, change the top, right, bottom, and left margin to a half an inch from an inch. Back to print preview. Now we're down to page one of eight. Now, it looks like we're missing just a few columns off to the right hand side. We're missing December and the total uh, for the quarter, the year and prior year. Now we go back to the page setup dialog, file, page setup. And on the page tab, we choose fit to one pages wide by not one page as tall, but change the one to a blank, hit the delete key. Okay. Do a print preview. And now we finally fit the entire report to one page wide. It's still four pages, but that's that's right. That's what we need to show all the data. But at least you'll be able to see the entire data set going across one page. There we go. Thanks for joining us. Stop back tomorrow for another tip from Mr. Excel.